Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. No, we're not going to be doing the live stream today with Matt Bracking. It actually works perfect because there's another video that you definitely should watch. There's a video called Who's Bill Gates? I'll leave the link below. It's about two hours. Yes, kind of long, but it's Definitely one of the most important videos you will ever watch, bar none, no question about that. It is so well founded, it just makes so much sense. Everything in that jigsaw puzzle, it just makes sense that once you watch that, you go, well, well, yeah, it does make sense. So what is it that makes sense? The video is kind of, it's kind of long because it goes into all of these details. This is one of those complex things where there's not a, a simple, straightforward two minute answer for it. This video itself, it's gonna be quite long and I'm not gonna be going through all of it because I want this to be the, the shorter, you know, uh, bullet point uh, version of it, but you have to watch it because it's not just Bill Gates, it's Bill Gates and people like him that are people you should be very worried about, okay? And I mean this in the best possible way, man, because the title is not a clickbait. The title is actually true. Bill Gates is, is trying to save the world in his vision of what the world should be, which doesn't include you. So let's get to it. Let's start with, again, I want to insist one more time, watch this video, then go watch those two hours of Who's Bill Gates because it's packed full of information, clips, mainstream stuff, mainstream media stuff, just organized in such a manner that you finally understand why is this guy doing what he's been doing? Why is he, is he pushing for the things he's pushing? 90% 90, 90 of the time, he's actually quite honest about it. It's just that people don't see the complete picture. So let's start by maybe one of the things that will help you understand all of this. Who is Bill Gates? Well, Bill Gates is not who you think he is. If you're like me, you probably think that Bill Gates is what? Like a, a, a computer geek guy, didn't finish college because he was so smart with computers and he started Microsoft in his basement in his mom's garage or whatever that's the, the, the kind of bullshit you've been fed I've been fed as well I believe that for a very long time well that's actually not true Bill Gates is comes from a very extremely wealthy family his, his mother is a, a very wealthy banker his father is a very well or you know very wealthy lawyer um, so he's the, the child of of a elite banker and an elite lawyer so the story goes that no none of the bullshit you've been fed through this mainstream media is actually true that's that's just part of the 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 story they made up um, bill gates made the the fortune he did with, with microsoft when he took what was being publicly available and found a way of monetizing what a bunch of, of computer geeks and nerds were actually doing already for free thanks to his mother who got him the big uh, first push with IBM. That was a direct order from Bill Gates' mother, banker, to IBM. You have to work with my son. You're going to be working together. You're, you're going to be making him uh, 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 you know, a very famous rich person. And his father, who was fundamental in finding a way of making all of this legal, of finding a way of, of monetizing and putting in a legal frame so as to have royalties over what was up until that point basically publicly available stuff he's not the computer genius you probably think he is he is though very very greedy and he is though uh, an elitist on its you know most purest form um, and this is where there's maybe a big difference as of what he believes he's doing in terms of what Bill Gates believes to be saving the world and the, the world he sees and who you are and what most of us actually are. We are not in that picture of Bill Gates' ideal, perfect, saved world. So it, it goes back to, you know, th there's probably a, a very good psychological explanation for the, all of this. And it goes back to his father who was part of the eugenetics program back in the day in the United States then because of how negative a connotation that has it was relabeled I wrote this all it was very fascinating to to read this but it was relabeled as transhumanism you know basically just because of the bad press that eugenetics you know has uh, but basically the idea that some people are simply better than others some people should reproduce in larger numbers than others this isn't anything that bill gates hasn't said himself like a, a thousand times in, th in terms of third world people should not be reproducing as much as you know well he, he's maybe not saying the part about 
they shouldn't be reproducing as much as I do, but that's implied in basic human nature. You do believe you have a right to exist. If you don't believe that um, the world is better off with you in it, you probably take that you know, final decision that some people that commit suicide end up going with. So if you're still here, then you believe that there's a, a reason why you're here and you have a right to be here. Now, when you're telling other people that they shouldn't be here, well, that's where uh, all of this starts making sense. So one of the things I, I didn't quite understand was how all of this philanthropy thing with um, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, you know, saving the world from poverty and, you know, big pharmaceutical companies being there in the mix, but this is all what, non-profit? Well, not so much. Bill Gates himself says, and he actually gives you an accurate number. In the last 10 years, I think Bill Gates has doubled his fortune. And when asked about how good of an investment it is, he was mentioning about investing $10 billion in, in the new health endeavors that we all know of in this last year. There's a, a, a nice little clip where he says that he's getting a return of investment of 20 to 1 when it comes to pharmaceuticals. So when all of this seems to be so charitable, so you know, out of the pure heart or whatever um, uh, idealized um, thing that comes to mind when you see that, like all of, all of this philanthropy going on, you know, such, you know, these billionaires are so philanthropy you know, inclined, they just want to save the world. Yes, there's a little bit of that in terms of saving the world, at least they it, see it themselves. There's also a matter of making a bunch of money out of it. Bill Gates, Bill Gates says it himself. He says that he's getting a, a 20 to 1 return of investment. So if he's investing 10 billion bucks, he's going to be getting 20 to 1 on that. that that's, a nice, that's a nice number. But then it, it gets very weird in terms of how is it that some of the stuff that he's been doing in India with a company called uh, Adhar, which is a, 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 a company that is basically looking to integrate uh, some of the uh, biometric ID stuff in terms of your, your finances, your money, the, the credit you access, the, the, the benefits you get. How is it all that mixed with the, the pharmaceutical aspect? So it's a, a, a drive for the, the, the pharmaceutical aspect, getting everyone um, you know, vaccinated and such, and in terms of uh, getting the biometrics as to make sure those um, medical uh, needs that you may have are being covered. Uh, how is it that integrated into all the financial aspect? Well, he has a company called Gavi, which Gavi went from, from vaccination, that was a very big push, to ID. And the reason for this is, again, all covered in several clips from Bill Gates himself, as well as some of, of the people that work for him, explaining that the, the problem is that we need to ID people that are getting vaccinated. And figuring out what kind of vaccines they already got, what kind of vaccines they should be getting in the future. So it's very strongly linked, the idea of, of vaccination and the idea of ID. He actually has a, a product that's kind of creepy. It's called a Cushy Baby. This was all of this stuff. He's, you know, someone said that uh, <laughs> India is, is Bill Gates' guinea pig lab and it kind of is. So Cushy Baby is a little necklace with a little chip who, which he uses so as to, you know, ID kids and what is it that they got and what is it that they should be getting in the future. Um, later on, he ended up working with with some uh, uh, MIT folks. This is from Rice University. What something that's called a, a quantum dot tag. So it's a form of you know applying the you know, vaccination, which is like a little patch. Uh, one of the doctors, because this is actually real, this is actually going on. It's uh, like a little patch, like a, like a, ba like a band-aid, the doctor explains. You just put it and then remove it. Now, when you put it, you have like several little uh, needles, little dots, right? You just put it there and then you remove it. But that's, those little, are, are, uh, they, they dissolve in your skin and there's no trace left behind except for a little marker uh, that's only visible, with, I think, with, with a cell phone. It's a technology using uh, like uh, sugars and polymers and some uh, markers. But basically, it's something that can be read with, <laughs> yeah, it's something that can be read with, with a cell phone to ID that person and you know, understand what kind of medication that person has has been receiving and should be receiving in the, in the future. 
Uh, but this Gavi company is the one that mixes the, the pharmaceutical stuff, the vaccination stuff with the ID stuff. But then he goes on, and this is another company that he has going on in, in, in India, the uh, Adhar company that is using this form of ID at a, at a government level. So this form of ID goes beyond medication, vaccine, and all of that. It goes into the territory of financial stuff payments so it ends up being that it you end up in the big mix of of vaccination what's being pushed very strongly these days the idea of, of i having an, a, a, a vaccination passport a vaccination id but then combined with all of these are companies that strongly invest you know all through the, the their foundation strongly invest in, in biometric id and strongly invest in in the idea of using all of this not only just for health not only for you know the, the pharmaceutical side, but also the financial side. Um, so the way in which you're being ID, it, this is the same technology also used by China with the, the good citizen uh, tech where they have your facial recognition. When, when you're talking about biometrics, that's basically it. With this uh, Adhar company that he's pushing for and financing and basically uh, driving in, in India, it's using all of these tech, you know, the iris recognition, the, the face recognition stuff, all of this is basically intended to uh, have absolute control over you in terms of where you're going, where you're moving, have you this stuff said by the guy himself. If you bought a, a house, if you move from one place to the other, what kind of, of finances you have, if you're saving money or not. What's the final push of all of this? Well, the video about who is Bill Gates makes a strong point for this eugenics type of, of, of upbringing that he most likely has based on, on who he, his father was and the kind of, uh, of people he uh, associated with. The foundation himself is very strongly linked to the Rockefellers who have been doing this for a very long time themselves. So there's a strong element. I think that he's a, you know, he's a complex person, man. He's not a, a, a simple, happy-go-lucky Joe Sixpack, uh, our good friend here, Bill Gates. But it's about making money. I think that's a very big driver. People that are greedy don't stop being greedy because they have a lot of money. They just want to have more and more and more. Finally, it, be, it gets to a point where, understand this, this guy has been obscenely wealthy beyond your wildest dreams since he basically has any memory. You know, the guy was rich when he was born, he, he was even richer as growing up, and he was finally uh, incredibly wealthy when he was in his 20s, right? Uh, the kind of personality that he has, the kind of, uh, of, of drive that he has, he just wanna keeps having more money. The company is making more money. Bill Gates himself is twice as wealthy he is right now than he was before. And as he said to himself, his own words, 20 to 1 return of investment when it comes to, to all of his uh, philanthropic endeavors in terms of, of, of medical, healthcare, pharma, uh, you know, things he's pushing for so this idea that it's all, all all charitable all just no that that's not so much but there's also maybe a little bit of a darker element there's a part where he's being uh, he, he's talking about well if someone is about to die and he has three years to live and costs x amount of money would that money be better invested in putting someone else through college or, or putting 10 people through college and he makes this face this this little face thing and there's a lot that you can get from uh, body language and, and the way this, this it's very hard to describe but you get an idea of yeah, he actually thinks that. He actually thinks that, well, yeah, makes sense to not invest that money in a guy that's going to be dying in the next two, three years and put that money into, you know, 10 guys, putting those guys through MIT or whatever. In his mind, that, that's perfectly, maybe for you it is as well. Beyond that, he is of the kind of person that I believe, this is just a, a supposition of mine, I believe that there's a lot of of uh, indicators out there that he doesn't believe that people from the third world should be reproducing as much as they should. And maybe, maybe it's not just my, my opinion. This is actually facts and based off lots of his investments and lots of the things that he's been very much pushing and investing 
enormous amounts of money in, in the World Health Organization and in the United Nations. All of this basically has to control how much people uh, <laughs> are, are being born in these countries where he's absolutely certain that they should not be. These people should not be getting, you know, reproducing in, in these numbers. They, he believes that has to be controlled. Um, but it doesn't apply to him and it doesn't apply to people like him. It doesn't apply to the elite and the super wealthy. Those are the kind of people that should be reproducing themselves as much as possible. And going into that, there's the, the final part of the video where, where they, they mentioned the link that Bill Gates tried to deny, but there's a, a lot of solid information regarding that. And this is not you know, from any weird site. This is from the, the New York Times where they, they mentioned how he tried to get rid of the association between him and, and Epstein and uh, Epstein's uh, ranch in New Mexico where he wanted to have 20 women impregnated with his own DNA because that was his way of making the world better. Uh, I don't know if the guy himself would go for something like that, but he obviously, I insist on this, he obviously thinks that some people should, should not be reproducing as much and there, should not be, there shouldn't be as many of those as others. So there's a, a difference between one group and the great majority. The 99.99% you know, of the population is one thing, then there's him. You know, the elites, the guys like him with his, someone was, uh, uh, an author was mentioning in, uh, that he interviewed some of the dates he had had before and that one of the first things he asked was the SAT score. So all of these things very much matter for him uh, to an extent where, yeah, he's not going to be associating, he's not going to be uh, mixing his own DNA with someone that he considers not to be worthy. How does that apply to all of those poor bastards in the third world, well, those should not be there in the first place. Um, it's a bunch of things. I think that the, the more concerning thing is uh, not so much the eugenic stuff, not so much the transhuman, which is a new way in which people are calling uh, eugenics now stuff, but the stuff about absolute control over people. One of the things that is not being mentioned in the video who's Bill Gates, which I, he says you have to watch, but it's not being mentioned, and that's why, why I'm doing my own version of this, uh, not nearly as good, of course, I insist, that is, you know, fantastic, go watch that, but this idea of having absolute control over a person, having absolute control of that person's ID, his health, his finances, the world without uh, um, a, a cashless society where everything goes down to this, goes down to this, goes down to you being absolutely controlled and the final control of greed which is the person now becomes a product. This is something, if you're wondering how much is a person worth, well in India you're worth seven bucks. That's what the price it's going for uh, of all the information collected by uh, Adhar, you know, the, 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 the one of these projects uh, associated and, you know, financed by, by Bill Gates himself. The data collected on all these people is being sold for seven bucks. You can access the, the information of everyone they have for that amount of money. Now, seven bucks buy what? Uh, how, how many of these are, are being sold, uh, how much is that being monetized, what kind of information you're buying with each of these, uh, how much detail you're getting, uh, I assure you they're not going to be selling it for seven bucks to some of the bigger uh, companies where they, the, the amount of, of uh, artificial intelligence uh, info, information gathering that they can do is amazing in terms of live control of each product you, you bought, where you're going, what kind of income you're having, all of this, it, it can be monetized in ways that you, you wouldn't believe. You know, it is, it is uh, something that we, you probably figured this out when when you mention like Facebook, you know the, the shady stuff, you, you know the lack of privacy, the, 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 the making a person into a product, you associate a lot of that to uh, firms like you know, big tech like, like Facebook and such, not so much with Bill Gates, but 
what he has in mind is in many ways a lot worse because it's not just your online presses or your cell phone tracking. It is you being tracked literally by your, 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 your biometrics, you being tracked as a person wherever it is that you go. This is the stuff that you find in China where your face is constantly being scanned 200 times a day and you're being judged on who you're associating with, who you're talking with through social media, with your phone, your, your, the, the kind of financial decisions you make. Absolutely everything is taken into account and the final um, the destruction of humanity, of, 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 a, of, a, of a human identity of your own as a unique and special person that you are. Don't let these guys tell you that you're not. You are in fact unique. This is a scientific fact. You are unique and impossible to replicate unless you go into some of the the, 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 the the scary DNA stuff, but you are unique. Your DNA says so. You are a unique person unless you have twins and such. These guys want to make you the opposite of that. They want to make you a product. They want to make you something that can be bought, sold as a commodity. This is the final step of, per, of, of uh, converting humans into commodities for big companies, big tech, big globalist firms. Folks, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoy this cool Easter <laughs> uh, video, but I think it's important. Go watch the video. If you had enough patience to stick with me so far, go watch the video. And folks, keep preparing. The world is not going to be getting any easier in the future. Have an awesome uh, day. See you on the next video. Take care.